Persuable. What's going on, Boo Boo? So today we're gonna do a review of this mobile game called Mitra Sphere. And just as a big disclaimer, I have not been paid to do this video. Uh, companies don't want to pay me because I blow ass and I'm insignificant. But one thing that I have in common with this game is that we both blow ass, and it's a complete waste of your time playing this game. In my opinion, I'm gonna explain why, and that's the good thing about the approach that I do is that I, at least I'm completely brutally honest, but first we're going to have a dad joke, right? We're going to listen to a dad joke. Did you hear about the show dog that had puppies? She had to put her career on pause. <laughs> you know what that joke has in common with the game? It blows ass too. <laughs> All right, so there's a good chance that I'm gonna fuck this whole thing up. In, in in my defense, I'm not used to all this, and I'm not used to any fancy editing. Uh, but I'm gonna do my best to to make this as coherent as I can. You guys know my style. I do my videos in one take. So he, let's look at the trailer. Mitrosphere is just your. I, it's probably loud as fuck, but whatever. It's pretty much a co-op game where you have characters and you're all beating the shit out of monsters You know, you're not really there's no PvP the game came out in Japan like four years ago So it just got launched it's in collaboration or with uh, crunchy roll So, you know, it might be a relatively popular game and I wanted to try it to see how pay to win the game really is Right, and we'll talk about a lot about that stuff and so um, Pretty much you just build up your character and there's a lot of co-ops uh, that you can do and uh yeah so there's that and hopefully that all went on the, the video and we are gonna switch over to here so let's talk about the game so that's ba basically the gist of the game you um you start off with trying to do the campaign all right so the campaign it's on like chapter 14 so it gets released in segments and updates and you pretty much start here. I'm just going to give you a basic basic idea, the basic rundown of it. You go in here, and then, you, you know, you, you're you limited by your power. Oh, crap. Hold on. And so, pretty much, you do the campaign. You kick a whole bunch of monsters' asses. You can hit co-op mode to see if there's other, excuse me, other people who are doing this. You also have auto mode, so it can auto play for you, which... Um, which kind of, I hate games that are kind of like that. But either way, so this is the basic gist. And then you keep going. And, and if you reach the final chapter, you can hit uh, the hard mode. And then hard mode is also capped by power. So you have to raise power on your character in order to activate the next part of the quest. Okay, so it's capped. It's hard capped um, by how powerful you are. And so pretty much you can hit go to hard mode you can hit co-op to see if anyone's playing so this guy right now uh, is playing hard mode in one of them and then you have uh, like the ex like expert mode and that's very very difficult it actually gets really really hard so the game is not like necessarily too easy all right it's it's kind of easy in the beginning and then there's also events that we're going to show you what that's like and uh, that's pretty much just five of you going against uh, a big monster and they're actually quite challenging and there's different classes in this game uh, that I really like and I'm going to show you what that's like so this is us doing the campaign right now and when you play together you can get these green jade seeds we will get back into that a little bit later but it just so happens uh, that we're doing so see those green jade seeds we'll get into that a little bit later okay so that's pretty much the premise you play with other people there's no real pvp mode and there's five different classes they all do different things you can be a swordsman which is the dps you can be a guardian which is the tank you could be a cleric who obviously heals an archer that does buffs and debuffs and you also have a magician or rather a mage and i think we all know what mages do okay so that's pretty much the basic premise of the game and you build up your character by being able to unlock a whole bunch of different things and we'll get into how you unlock these and why this game is pay to win fucking garbage let's go to the event so the events is pretty much the same premise you have like weekly things where you can build up seeds to help you uh, increase your armor or increase your your weapons uh, you have guerrilla warfare that happens every hour or every few hours you got amulets the limited time is really uh, a, a fun part of the the game 
So it's pretty much just like that overpowered boss and you have to face them. And depending on your power level, they get harder and harder. So like level one, you got a power cap of 10,000, level two. So you can't do level two until you hit that power level, okay? That's important to know. So pretty much you're just going against these, these insanely powerful guys and you can hit co-op. We're gonna go into one of the more easy ones and I'm just gonna do auto mode. Um, auto mode is really bad. It's not good, but I'm just gonna do it for the sake of the stream because I don't wanna have to hit my my combos. So this is the fun aspect of the, the game now. I don't feel like waiting, so we're just gonna start. I th I might have just got my whole team killed, but <laughs> we'll find out. Now, here's the problem with this game. All right, I'd just like to show you what what some of this looks like when you're actually playing. Okay, the problem with the game, we're gonna put this on auto mode. Okay, so I'm not gonna do as much damage. Is that the game is absolutely pay to win. It is absolutely pay to win and we're gonna get into the gotchas where pretty much you can get these things called sea crystals and you can you can try to get treasure chests that have the best items and the best moves and the best equipment but the thing is is that although the game is technically free to play and you can grind if somebody spends money they're gonna be at a significant advantage over you significant advantage there's five classes uh, other than the beginner packages that you can buy specific to a class, when you go and you roll, it can be for any class. So if you're really powerful in one class, even if you get a good weapon, it might be for a different class. You can spend $80 on this game and you pretty much just get three 10 rolls. That's it. So the cash cow system in this is pretty significant. Now, although you can grind, it will take you an incredibly long period of time and an incredible amount of luck. You only can get so many amount of sea crystals for free in this game. There's actually quite a bit that you can get, which is a compliment to the developers of the game. The issue is, is that the odds of you actually getting the, the item that you desire is, is going to be very difficult. And although there's really no... See that? I already died because I'm doing that auto thing. So this isn't helping my team, Okay. But the thing is, is that in terms of the cash cow system, even though you can grind your way up, I would not want to have to play a game for three to six to nine months of my life at a disadvantage to everyone around me just so one day I might be able to catch up to those who spend money. And based on how the system is, it doesn't matter how much you play for free. People who spend more money will have a significant advantage over you. They will have better equipment than you. They'll have more moves than you. They'll have more crystal weapons than you because they paid for them. And that's going to take an incredible amount of grinding. I actually think this game is okay to play if you play super casual and you don't really care too much. But the thing is, is that as you do climb up in, in the tiers, you really have to do a lot of damage or it's going to take your team a very long time in order to beat these monsters. All right, so like once you actually get to like tier three, tier four, like you need to be doing some solid damage. All right, and the thing is, is that if you're not doing solid damage, then you're more likely to not only lose, but even if you do win, it's gonna take an incredible amount of time. The other thing about the game is that the game is incredibly grindy, which these gotcha games are typically like, and that's gonna take an incredible amount of time. So it contradicts what I just said. I said, if you're gonna play this game, I think it's okay to play if you play casually and you don't get too focused on trying to be a top player in the game. Um, but the issue is, is that the game is so grindy for those green seeds where you have to play with other people in co-op for regular mission mode. And I'll show you what that is in a second that you can't actually really play the game casually unless you just don't really wanna get anywhere at all. And so, the issue here and i'm going to show you guys and i'm still trying to learn a lot of these uh sort of features so say if we'll get into that in a second say if you want to upgrade your equipment in order to upgrade equipment you have different seats so in order to do this your weapon moves you have to or your weapons you have uh these crimson seeds say if you want to do your armor you have a separate set of seeds and say if you want to do your accessories you have the green seeds the jade now these are incredibly hard to get um they, they they're the most grindy in the whole game because you have to play campaign mode for the most part over and over and over again there's a few rewards you can get i just feel like this game is a cash cow system even though you can technically play free you will be at a disadvantage for pretty much ever 
because the game and, and and you can't even play casually if you really want to because in order to increase the power of your character you really really have to grind so even playing casually like for somebody like me who has a full-time job when i get out of work this would have to be the only game i play if i really want to stay like super competitive to it all right where i'm still like right now if we look at my character i think i'm i'm ranked in the top 2000 on our server now so I've played this game substantially and I've poured money into it because I really wanted to learn if this game is free to play or not. And even though it's technically free to play, I'm telling you, you're going to be at a huge fucking disadvantage. It's not worth your time. I have four crystal weapons. I had to pay for all these. Now, in the beginning, you'll actually, I think I unlock like maybe one of them, one or two of them. Even though you have these gotchas where you get these free sort of, um, where is it? If I go to the gotcha, right, you get, actually, let me go to my page. You do get free spins. You get five free spins a day. You have the chance of getting these purple blue items. And, you know, at least it's built into the game. All right. But if you really want the best equipment, you have to pay for uh, the the limited time series. And that you could, again, you could spend $80 for 200, for, sorry, for about 800 crystals. That's just 310 spins there's five classes you could be very strong in one class and you're trying to get that weapon for that class and you can't get it and so you have to pour in hundreds and hundreds of dollars if you really want to be on sort of the top of the leaderboard unless you want to just grind away your life for six months and you'll still be at a disadvantage to me who's been playing for four or five days and i just pumped a couple hundred dollars into it right which i wish i didn't but when i do these reviews i really want to know if the game is pay to win or free to play and as somebody who has paid it and somebody who is in top 2000 now it is a massive pay to win game you have the free option of playing and you can get relatively strong but you're not going to be stronger than the people who've spent more money than you i honestly think the game is a waste of time i don't i, don't, I really don't recommend this to my my players because there are games out there on mobile that you can play and you're not wasting considerable money including call of duty uh, including identity 5 where you might get just skins or you might unlock a character but this when you pay money to increase your stats the pay to win feature in this game i am telling you is way too high unless you want to grind your life away for just another typical gotcha game or what however the fuck you say that word i just don't think it's worth it i don't recommend it to my viewers i think it's a waste of time even if you wanted to play it casually how the game is built is to not be casually played but to grind and grind and grind in order to get those green seeds so you can update your accessories so you can increase your power and increasing your power means you can continue doing the campaign or increasing your power means you can do the next level boss that therefore will give you better drops and it's just this net this perpetual cycle of just wasting so much amount of your time compared to people who can just drop hundreds if not thousands of dollars to have a crazy advantage over you now when this game was first launched there was huge server issues server problems um which was super annoying but i'm not going to penalize them for it when i do these reviews on these games it's to tell you if i think you should fuck with it and my answer is no i think it's engaging i think that if you have a lot of money and you want a game where you can get a significant advantage over other people and be more powerful based on spending a lot of money and also grinding in conjunction with it you know you could spend a lot of money but if you're not grinding you're still going to be at a disadvantage if you are one of those people this game's great for you but for the overwhelming population who don't want to spend massive amounts of money just to play a game to be on equal ground with everybody else it's horseshit it really is it's horseshit it's such a pay to win game and again you can earn sea crystals so you can do these gotchas there are things where you can spend money for um specific classes and items but you only get to do it really like one time even even this there's really no equipment a lot of this right here there is there is two equipments that's not true but you you can spend money on specific classes but remember that if you spend eighty dollars you can only do this three times on eighty dollars you can only do it three times that's crazy man yeah and you're not even guaranteed a four star so with all of that said like i said and i'm gonna just say it one more time you can play this game and play free to play and relatively enjoy it but eventually it gets very grindy you want to increase your power of your character and really if you pay a lot of money you can actually get free 
uh, seeds. If you spend $30, you get like seven days worth of them. So all around, the pay-to-win features of this game just really excels it too fast, too much. Free-to-play players are going to get fucking shafted in this game. And, and because of that reason, I'm not going to recommend it. Again, if you're somebody that likes these sorts of games and you like spending your money, $500 to $1,000 just so your EP is bigger than everybody else so you can... It, and it is no... There's no PvP. <laughs> so pretty much you spend all that money just to show that you could beat a boss. And you got to hope that your teammates are strong enough too. Because you can't really carry it all by yourself. So all in all, that's my basic review of the game. I know the game we're going on 15 minutes into this video. I'll get better at these character reviews. I don't recommend these pay to win games I, I i think that there are plenty of business models plenty of games that have showed how they can make the game relatively within even playing fields for everyone uh whether it's through ads or skins or things like that where it's relatively even playing fields the game's way too grindy pay to win characters way too much of an advantage i'm hoping that i can save people some time play it casually if you want but even then the game is designed for excessive grinding and so it's not even really built towards casual game and in my humble opinion unless you stick with it for the very 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 long haul that's my review of this game if anyone downloads it remember it's uh, in partnership with crunchyroll this has been in japan for you know many many years and it's okay to have a different opinion of mine but